This effort is better referred to as the opportunity of the century if leadership has the courage to pursue it. What we have developed is the most comprehensive economic plan that has ever been created specifically for the Palestinians and for the broader Middle East. Over the past decades, there have been many stops and starts in the Palestinian economy. Numerous well-intended programs, investments, and plans have been derailed by violence, political instability, and the lack of a resolution to the long-standing core issues of this conflict. To be clear, economic growth and prosperity for the Palestinian people are not possible without an enduring and fair political solution to the conflict. However, today is not about the political issues. We'll get to those at the right time. We can turn this region from a victim of past conflicts into a model for commerce advancement throughout the world. For a moment, imagine a new reality in the Middle East. Imagine a bustling commercial and tourist center in Gaza and the West Bank where international businesses come together and thrive. Imagine the West Bank as a blossoming economy full of entrepreneurs, engineers, scientists, and business leaders. Imagine people and goods flowing quickly and securely throughout the region as economics become more integrated and people become more prosperous. This isn't a stretch. This is actually the historical legacy of the Middle East, specifically of Gaza and the West Bank. It is a legacy of great cultures coming together as a center of commerce, innovation, and prosperity. Should we find reason to stay with the status quo, a broken system that, stay, that favors few at the expense of many, or should we push together to find new solutions and fight for a brighter future filled with opportunity and hope? By working together, we can reach our ultimate goal, which is a real peace that leads to prosperity. Thank you.